real quick before I hop into the video I just want to say I'm getting used to a new mic setup so if the audio seems to fluctuate up and down a lot or whatnot I am ending up too close or too far away from the microphone I'm not used to it being able to actually pick me up this this far away so just bear with it hopefully I, I can get used to it pretty quick but it's I'm gonna be a learning process hopefully I don't think every day that I'm gonna have to be super close to it and then it picks me up just fine thank you goodbye Hello and welcome back to episode 2 in this new Aftershock world that we're starting. Uh, in the episode I ended up doing a couple of things we're going to go through uh, together. Being able to sort of figure out sort of the goal of what I want this series to end up becoming. Some of the changes that I made to the, the mod pack that I'm working with. And some of the, yeah, just some of the plans and some of the things that end up happening. Or that I do end up uh, end up doing that I end up doing off camera, without having ended up recording it, so that when we come back uh, next in the next episode, we're starting out fresh, and I'm not trying to f remember something. So I started out. Um, I believe it was the thirty first or so. It was some. It was the thirtieth. I don't remember, but I was recording clips doing some basic minecraft things when you start a new world i went mining uh i got some diamonds uh, i found a shulker a shulker area thing down below the base there that i ended up going through getting xp from mining nothing crazy just the basic mining and get a couple resources and because of the way some of the mod packs are set up i didn't get a lot uh, but I got some of it, and I was going to go back through later on. And I might just do a lot of off-camera mining when I go, when I need resources for the pack, instead of trying to put it into a video unless I come up with some really cool way to do so. So we did that, it did that for about an hour or so, get, so, getting some basic things, getting XP. And then I ended up trying to get out with the the lava pool there. And after that, I believe I, with the lava pool down there or something, and I believe I ended up going to the nether, which if I go nether here, oh, but I ended up going into the nether. And then the nether here for getting out, I ended up going towards this over here. It's the... I believe it's over here anyway. I'm trying to remember. But it was... Yeah, yeah, over here. I ended up getting a portal. I believe it was down over there. And I kind of got lost. So I ended up coming here. I ran through the treasure bastion. I kind of just hid in the walls. So there's not really a lot of footage there either. Sadly, nothing crazy. I just kind of dug around and blocked it off. And went down to get that. And all of the resources out of this here to get from this like a uh, netherite, netherite upgrades and whatnot. And then I went through and I made a portal and I went, ended up going the wrong way, come to another, and I went through some of the inventory pet things right there. So I got a lot of random bits and pieces and. Yeah, a lot of random netherite pieces, uh, ingots specifically. There's a lot of inventory pets that I've got because I end up looting like every single one and keeping the pet just in case I want it for something. Like, like these are some pretty good chests. Like you get like three netherite ingots and then the pet. 
So I ended up grabbing a lot of these on my way around the nether. I kind of did that both days where I was just running through trying to find something and then I'd get lost and just start running. Or I'd get the magma pet. Like I would use this and that spider. That spider pet. And we would end up doing something like this. And I would run around the nether because you can walk on uh, lava with the the magma pet and the spider pet I could go through. And I would just do something like this to get up. And I would just kind of climb up the walls and go around finding more pets and whatnot. Nothing crazy. Until I eventually ended up finding out that my base is up here. I ended up going back and I ran around and I ended up finding my portal that was over here. And I sort of ended up storing a lot of things into chests. Just kind of sporadically set up up here. I set sugar cane up on the, the coastline here, and I'm gonna try and, like when I say here or something, I'm trying to put clips in and whatnot for you, but I went through that, and then in between the nether stuff and the, the, ne the next part of the video there, I ended up downloading the easy villager and easy bartering things that, I'm, that we can walk through. But it just allows me to pick the, the villagers up from their houses, and there's not going to be any in here. But I, as I show you, I end up getting the a raid that spawns, so I go uh, and I fight the raid, and then I would I pick all the villagers up, and I made sure I put them in a hole so they didn't die. And then I picked them up and brought them back over to the base there. And in the base, I set up some of the easy villager breeders and the traders and the converters. Just because I didn't want to to have to chase villagers down for 15 minutes for every one of them just to set up a trade that might have been half decent. So, uh, I ended up doing that. And I spent most, I believe, of the rest of that stream getting trades and stuff, like Prop 4, Unbreaking 3, Mending Books and such likes, so that in the next episode we could go through and get the resources that we need, maybe to go fight the dragon, get some of the end blocks, but I want to go ahead and keep doing videos of the resource stuff pretty short. I don't want to like spend a lot of time like, oh, I went and mined for three episodes. But I want to do a lot of that off camera so that when we go to do some of the building things, I can do some fun things like build the things like the creation events or build like certain certain ideas and aspects. And this is sort of what I want to get into and this part of the video is my goal at the moment. The inspiration for the designs in the world here are going to come from the uh, the Bible story. So creation days and then the Ark and not just the Ark, but I want to do more. I want to go like a lion's den and I want to come up with the whale and it being swallowed by a whale. Maybe like a David and Goliath fight. I don't want to sort of go through and 
create like the Jericho walls and the crashing of the walls and stuff, do we, a bunch of things like that that would be pretty, pretty abnormal, things that are different, because you always get people building castles or you get people building, uh, like houses and neighborhoods or cities and whatnot, but I wanted to find a different group of things that I would be inspired to build. That would also be different. That wouldn't be the same thing that you would get other people build. Because I tried building, in this, uh, the vid here, I tried building castle walls. I was like, this looks pretty nice. But I was like, I don't want to build a castle wall. I always try and build castle walls. Because this is the, the go-to when I get into trying to build something or build a base. Because I just want to wall it off. Because then the outside looks good and the inside looks like a mess and I just kind of threw it all together. And that's kind of the way the base looks now is every everything is just stuck on top of the mountain and just kind of sporadic, scattered. <coughs> it's all kind of scattered around and there's no real rhyme or reason for it. It's just kind of there because I didn't want to take care of it. So that's kind of why I did it. I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it is I want to be able to push myself to sort of design more, to come up with some new ideas and to get creative in the way that things are going to be. So that's the goal with these these episodes, hopefully within the next couple, uh, couple, maybe the next week, two weeks or so, I can get some of the first things down. So the first ideas, I can show you some of the builds in the world here that I have. This is just a copy, a creative copy of it. As you can tell, I've already kind of made a mess of it. But yeah, this is the creative copy. I've been trying to figure out how to alter world spawns to sort of force a player to get placed inside of a dark box that wouldn't sort of spawn you on top of it. But that's been difficult because it wants to allow a player, the game wants to allow players to spawn and be able to see and run around and do things. So I kind of have to figure out what would stop players from spawning while also stopping mobs from spawning in areas around so also. So I gotta use things like water physics and uh, a couple of other things in order to place in, to find an, an area that would force a player into a certain location. So that's sort of the idea in the next in the first couple of builds I think is I want to try and set up the, uh, like a creation story type thing. So keep a lookout. I'm gonna call... I'm gonna, I might take a while to set, like, resource farms up and stuff so that I get, like, a piglin for, piglins for gravel. I can find a desert to get sand and then I can make concrete and then, like, use piglins for glowstone and finding a bunch of that or setting up farms for, like, prismarines and such, but I want to be able to get a lot of bigger farms and work with technical aspects that are unrelated from stuff like this, this monument that's I seen on the first day when I loaded the world up, while also building something new, giving a different uh, set of uh, builds to uh, the community here. So that's sort of the goal, that's what we're looking to try and accomplish. And if there's anything specific you want to see in the, the build or something you might like to see done first, maybe I can see if I can work around some of the different builds that I want to see and sort of focus on things we want and then maneuver in between what we've done and some of the things that we want to do to sort of keep it in a, almost a timeline type of thing so that it's kind of linear in explanation so that as you walk through it, you can kind of see time passing and you can see the different build styles and etiquettes that get created until the quote end of the world which, or some of the other things that we we decided we want to move on from but it's supposed to be like a long-term project i don't want this to be over like tomorrow or anything but i want this to be something that we can add to and we can sort of take our time with i don't want to get bored of it and throw it off because this feels like one of those projects that we can design to do what we want which would be sort of why I'm focusing on a bigger project, a build project because it can be something that I don't have to do completely but it's going to take a while and I know that 
So that's the that's the goal. That's what we're gonna try and do. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching episode two. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Um, if there are other clips, you're gonna tell because I cut this one up and I split it. So hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.